Hello fellow YPS viewers, this is Yannick Chauvin for Yannick's Photo School and today we're going to be looking at aspect ratio for printing. Now above this video I explain in the article how aspect ratio uh, works, actually what it is and uh, how it works so that you can understand what you're doing in Photoshop and in part two in this video I actually show you how to do it in Photoshop. I'll be showing you two ways of doing it. Um, one's, a, one's a little bit longer, not that much, but a, a, just a little bit longer um, and that I've been using for a long time and I've recently started using the crop tool and figured out that it was pretty much the same thing. So let's go ahead and uh, start with the marquee tool. So by selecting the marquee tool here on your, your toolbar, uh, the submenu appears on top here as you can see. Now what's important first of all is that you're as your feather is at zero. You really want to make sure that you have zero feathering on your selection. After that, the style is very important. By default, you, you'll probably be at normal, which gives you the opportunity to move your selection any width and height that you want. Um, but what we want is a fixed aspect ratio. Actually, it's fixed ratio, same thing. Um, and you basically plug in your aspect ratio here in width and height. Now you can put in, if you know them by heart, by the 1, I know that 5 by 7 is 1.4 by 1, uh, and if I do my selection, you'll see here the space that will be cropped out. Now if you don't know them by heart, you can just simply put 7 and 5, or any image uh, size that you're going to be printing, whether it's 4 by 6, or 8 by 10, you can just plug that in um, and you, you don't need to remember all the aspect ratios, just put in the size of that image and then select and as you can see it's the same space here that will be cropped out. Now if that's not the, the spot that you want cropped out or you want this centered, all you need to do is click on inside your selection, then hold the shift key down and then just move it from left to right. You can also use the arrow keys if you want to do that that way. And once you have your selection, what you can do is go into your edit menu and click copy or for the shortcut keys, control C. And then for a new document, you can go into file new or control N for new, click OK and control V to paste or go back into your men me edit menu and select paste. Now that we have that done, we have our image cropped and ready to send to the printer. Whether you send it online or put it on a USB drive or back on your card to bring it to the printer, either way, you'll have an aspect ratio that you chose. And that's what's really, really, really important. All right, that's the first way of doing it. I'll show you the second way now. I'll close that, bring back our image. And the second way is with the crop tool. Selecting that, the sub menu appears here, the crop menu appears. And contrary to uh, the marquee tool, it doesn't really work in aspect ratio. It works in uh, exact image size. So let's say you want to uh, print some 5 by 7s. You would put in here 7, like it's already there, and 5. And here you have the option or not to put the resolution. I never put the resolution because I want it to stay at the exact same amount of pixels. Let me just go ahead with my crop selection. And as you can see, it removes the same amount uh, as with the marquee tool because it's the same aspect ratio. Again, you can use your arrow keys to move uh, back and forth or shift, click and shift to recrop your image and once that's done, double click inside your selection and the crop will happen. And you have the exact same crop as used with the marquee tool. Now the slight difference, if I go into image and then select image size, um, what the marquee tool did was it, it kept the original resolution to 300 uh, pixels per square inch which made the file um, basically 9 point something uh, by 6 point something inches at 300 pixels per square inch. Now, 
The pixels don't change, though, here. It's still the same size as with the marquee tool, 2,800 by 2,000. And that's what's uh, important. You don't want to lose any, any pixels, even though you're printing small. I just prefer to keep my files. Because if later on you want to go print it uh, bigger, you can have that file saved somewhere and say, this is my, these are all my files with this aspect ratio. And you know that you can print them bigger after. That's the, the thing with the resolution. If you say, well, I want a 5 by 7, uh, and I know that the printer uh, prints it in 150 uh, dots per square inch, I'll just put in 150, do my crop again. Oops, wait a minute. I changed the selection here. Let me start over. 150 pixels per square inch. There we go. Put my selection. Double click. You see how it shrunk con contrary to before? And if I look at my image size, my pixels shrunk. I really have an original 5 by 7 at 150 pixels per square inch. That's not bad if you, if you know you won't be printing bigger or if you kept your original file. This will put um, less, um, the, the image size will be smaller and you'll be able to put more on your card or on your USB drive. And um, that's probably the only advantage that I see there. I would personally never do that. All right, now let me bring back the original image. And I just showed you two ways to get the correct aspect ratio for printing your photos and having total control of exactly where everything is cropped. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Yannick Chauvin signing out. See you next time. Bye-bye.